Apollo 14 had been going very well. Uh, there had been a problem with the docking uh, mechanism that had been solved. That was when the uh, command module has to unite with the limb uh, while they're on their way to the moon. That had been solved. And so now it's a couple of hours before the landing is due to start, and they notice on the ground that there's a signal indicating that the abort switch has been pushed. Uh, the abort switch was a switch on the limbs, in the limb's cockpit that enabled them, the astronauts, very quickly to command an abort to go back to lunar orbit if something went wrong. Ground control asked the astronauts, you know, did you press the abort switch? No, we didn't. Uh, tap on the panel, please. They did, and the indication went away. So it became pretty clear at that point that what had happened was there was a piece of contamination in the switch. I'd written the code in the computer that looked at that switch, that was sensitive to that switch. And so the problem became, which was mine to solve, how do I make it insensitive to the switch? Otherwise, if that had occurred, if that short circuit in the switch had occurred during the lunar landing, before anybody could have done anything about it, the limb would have uh, started scooting back to uh, lunar orbit. The first thing was to look at the software, look at what the actual code said. And that's what I did. Um, a man named Bruce McCoy had come to tell me about the problem. We walked into the next room, got out the listing of the exact program that was on the lunar module at that point, and looked at that logic. And I saw that really the only way of staying out of that logic was to tell it that Nabart was already in progress. There's an imaginary version of the Apollo 14 story in which a car pulls up to uh, my door on Beacon Hill. I throw an overcoat over my pajamas and am whisked to the lab. But of course, that could not have been true. You know, I would not have been at home with a la lunar landing in the offing. I was at the lab. I was in the room where we monitored missions. There's nowhere else I would have been at that point in the mission.